The game tonight is No Limit Texas Hold'em. Play begins with each player receiving two cards down from the dealer. With the action always moving in a circle, players must make a betting decision solely based on the value of those two cards. We will be using under the table cameras to show you the cards. Here we see John in with a 10 and a 7. Frixo's in also. He's got a 9-5. And Hamid's in as well. What they're trying to achieve is to make the best possible five card poker hand. Here you see the ranking of all five card hands. But in Hold'em you only start with two cards. The other cards are going to cost you something. And in No Limit, one card could cost you everything. Here comes the flop. These three cards are community cards. That is, every player uses them along with their own cards to help in making the best poker hand. The three players have all checked in turn, or declined their option to bet, so they get the next card for free. John's bet 100 pounds. Too steep for Frixo, but Hamid pays for the fifth card. It's the river card, or the final card. The pot stands at 275 pounds, and we see a three has fallen. What have these guys got? John's got three sevens. You can see he uses the two sevens on the board with one in his hand. He's got a jack-10 kicker. We can only see Hamid's ace. We don't know what his other card is. 200. John's about 200 pounds. You can imagine he feels pretty good with those three sevens. Action's on Hamid. He raised said raise. He's raised to 700 pounds. That's a 500 pound raise. Hmm? I think there's eight there. No, it's a bit John different. will have to match those 500 pounds if he wants to see Hamid's cards and have a chance at the pot. Or he could fold and give it up. But if John calls, there'll be nearly 1,700 pounds in the pot for someone to win. Cool. He's going to call. We're going to see the showdown. Best hand wins the pot. Holy cow! Hamid had a seven with his ace. That gives him three sevens with ace-jack. John's also got the three sevens, but his kicker cards are a jack and a ten. And that's not going to beat Hamid. So Hamid breaks a 1,700-pound pot, and John loses with three sevens. Not bad. With me here tonight, editor of Poker Europa magazine, and a poker laureate, certainly in his own right, Nick Sharamata. How you doing tonight, Nick? Ah, good evening, Jesse. Hi. What do you think of the action so oh, far? Uh, nice start for Hamid. It's about the best he could have expected. Yeah, he came in in the first position with the A7, ended up making three sevens. Four. Let's see what's happening here. He's raised to 200. All right, Hamid's put 200 in, it looks like, on his pair of tens. Frixo's in also with a queen nine. Okay. We're going to see a flop. Two players. There's two players. Check. All right, the queen nine. Plus the two clubs on board is going to give Frixo four clubs. He needs one more to make a flush. Hamid's bet. Frixo's matched it, so we get a fourth card. Hamid's still leading with his pair of tens, and the action is on him. The action's on Frixo, and he bets 300. He still needs a club. When oh, he's hit it, hasn't he, Nick? Right there, right there. Five clubs makes a flush. Frixo has got to feel like he's, he's got the best of it right now. All in. He goes all in. It's a tough call for Ahmed. He's only got two tens. If Frixo had an ace, he would have him beaten. Of course, the two clubs. There's also two fives on board. I think it's about a seven or eight hundred pound bet by Frixo. Hamid's got more chips than that because he won that three seven spot, but it's a hefty sum. Well, Frixo had been betting on the draw, doing a little bluffing when you say Nick, but I guess he hit it on the end. I think Hamid played so weak that uh, Frixo thought he was best. He thought that Hamid was going to fold. Extra club on the end game as a bonus. Yeah, he might have made that bet no matter what fell. You've got one minute, Hamid. Mm -hmm. They're putting the clock on Hamid. That means he's got one minute to make a decision. 
And I'll tell you what, that minute goes pretty fast. Mm. There's about 1,500 pounds in the pot, and it's most of Ahmed's money to call. Pass. False. That's a pretty good pass. Frixo wins the pot, he doesn't have to show his hand. Those yellow chips you see are each worth 25 pounds. Red chips are 100 pounds each. There's a total of 12,000 pounds in sterling on the table. I pass. Pass. Still have eight players. Call. Joe Beavers pass. is going to call. Pass. Pass. <clears throat> call. During this early stage of the tournament, when the stakes are relatively low, Thanks. The players are just going to be trying to find out about each other. Nobody's going to get really involved unless they've got a really big hand. There's the flop. It's a 2-3 king. There's four players in. Check. Pascal's got very little with the jack six. There's no matches on the board. Oh, Joe's sitting there with three threes. He's checked it. He's playing a little bit cute. Check. Pascal checks. Surindar's still in. 10-4, not much. One. Joe bets 100 pounds. It's now 100 pounds for each person if they want to call. They could raise or they could fold. Pascal chooses to call the 100 pounds. He's going to see the final card. Actions on surrender. Pass. Folds. Okay. Queen falls on the river. Actions on Pascal again. And he's checked. Okay. Two hundred. Joe's bet two hundred. Pascal with the jack six has still got just a pair of sixes. That's not much of a hand. What do you think he's thinking about, Nick? Is he thinking that Joe might be bluffing? Yeah, I think uh, Joe's just milking a little bit out of this pot, and he figures that he's trying to make a bet small enough for Pascal to call. I think. Right. His hand was so strong after the first five cards that he was scared for anybody to fold. Yeah, he judged that right. Pascal called with a pair of sixes and three threes is going to win the pot. Well played. What do you think of those headphones? Is, can he hear anything at the table? Isn't that a big disadvantage, Nick? No, no, he's just relaxing. He's probably... Uh bit of Strauss or something, I should think. Either that or a, a tape saying over and over again, fold your sixes, fold your sixes. <laughs> if you look at that white disc to the left center of the table, that's Mad Marty Wilson with the dealer button. Why don't you explain that dealer button to us, Nick? Okay, um, the deal moves around the table, and uh, quite simply that uh, dictates who is first to speak and who is last to speak. If you notice, uh, the players to the left of the dealer button have to make a bet before they've even got their cards. These are the blinds which they're obliged to put in. These gradually get higher and higher um, as the game goes on. The stakes are increased every half an hour. Of course, right now the blinds are just 25 and 25. There goes John all in. Okay, we've got action. He's taken a flyer with a pair of sevens. 675 pounds worth. What do you think of that? He's got to make a move. Surrender's thinking about it with a jack and a queen. He's only got about a thousand in front of him. Oh. Just call. Oh. There's two players in. John's all in, so we're going to see the cards. If he loses this hand, he's out of the tournament. Queen, check. Who's the favorite here? Uh, John is marginal favorite with the uh, two sevens. And now that he's but got it, two pair, he's a much bigger favorite, isn't he? He's also got a straight draw now with the four, five, six and the seven on the table. Surrender is going to need a queen or a jack to win on the final card. Let's see if he gets it. Ah. John's full up. Well, he didn't need that last seven, but it sure helped him. That made a full house, and that's going to beat... Surrender's queen high by a long sight. So he's escaped the rope, hasn't he? Yeah, he certainly has. And Surrender got a little bit hurt there. Said lost 700 pounds in that. Box. I'm surprised that Surrender called with that queen jack. 
just throws a flop on the fourth card. Yeah. yeah, I mean, John could have very easily had him in a much tougher spot, huh? For sure. All right. Still got the same eight players. No one's flinched. Plus. Plus. The blinds are 25 and 50 pounds, so you'd Plus. have to put at least a 50 pound bet in to Plus. open the action. Surrender's in the big blind, so he's put those 50 pounds in without even seeing his cards. You can see him in the eight seat. John's coming in with the raise again. A bit aggressive, huh? That's a big Plus. raise. Plus. All in. Pascal's gone all in. Plus. Okay. It's a total of 475. There's about 950 pounds in that pot, and we're going to see the cards. This time it's Pascal who's all in with a queen jack. John has queen nine of clubs. No, Pascal's big favorite here. Remember, the object is to make the best five cards out of all seven available. There was the flop. You could see a nine on it. All of a sudden, catapulted John into the lead. He's leading with a pair of nines. And Pascal's going to have to jack to win. Didn't come, did it, Nick? No, he's dead. That's unfortunate. That's our first casualty. We're going to be down to seven players, and Pascal's going to have to go home early tonight. Let's take a look at that hand one more time. Here you can see... Pascal had the queen jack of spades, but with those five cards on board, he's got no match, so his best five card hand is still the queen high. John made a match with a nine in his hand and nine on board, and his pair is going to hold up and beat Pascal. Seven players, the circle gets smaller. Pass. Howard's going to pass. We haven't seen much of him yet. Action's on Mad Marty. Pass. Doesn't like him. Joe Beavers to play. The blinds are now up to 75 and 150 pounds. So Joe couldn't come in with less than that. Raised to 450. He's got a pair of eights. Pass. What do you think of that raise? Pass. It's okay, in Pass. that position. One thing is noticeable, all these guys are playing really cautiously. Certainly some tough players at this table. I mean, there you have Surindar, and he's only got 500 left in front of him. Joe's not very worried. He's got he's got a lot of chips in reserve. What do you think Surrender's thinking about? Well, he's got a little something. He's wondering whether this is the right moment to move. Uh, yeah, he's got a pair of fives. He's not quite sure whether to gamble or whether not to. Sure, if he goes in and loses the hand, he's out. That's good buy, yeah. If Joe's only got two higher cards, Surrender would be happy to call him. If Surrender knew that Joe's got a higher pair, he would just uh, run away very, very quickly. Tough decision. I think maybe he might call on the basis he's got so few chips. Here he goes. He's in. Cool. He's in, but he's not going to be happy when he sees the cards. No, 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 no. 100, exactly. Okay, down to two. We're going to see the flop and the rest of the cards, too. Two sevens and a jack. Surrender's got sevens and fives, and Joe's leading with eights and sevens. Surrender had 75 pounds odd there, and he stuck it in. Now he's really all in. Pair of fives. No oh. miracle can save Surrender now. He's up out of his seat. He's walking. He knows it. Oh my God! He's gonna have to have a seven or a jack. Seven or a jack saves him, and that's about it. Oh, and there it is. <laughs> well, <coughs> tell us yeah. what these guys have, Nick. Well, they both got four sevens with the jack. They both uh, share the pot. The highest hand they can make is they're sitting on the table. Their their whole cards just don't count. Right. They make the, use the best five cards out of the seven available, and in this case, they're both only using the cards on the board. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a split pot, a tie hand. Absolutely spot on. You, you don't see that too often. You don't often see four sevens, <laughs> not on the board. <laughs> so surrender survives, and I just wonder what else we're going to see tonight.
Down to seven here at the late night poker table. Only two of whom are going to go on to the poker finals. <laughs> Their first place is 40,000 pounds. Joe's got the dealer button, which means he's last to act. A lot of yellow chips, but it's the red chips that count. Okay, so the chips are very spread about. Nobody's got any commanding chip lead. Oh, Mad Marty's making a move at long last. I've got less than the chips. Sorry. Raised to 500. Uh, John's on the attack. He's got 500 pounds straight in there, and there's still a bunch of players to act. I don't know what Frixo could be thinking about. You'd have to consider Mad Marty's got a big hand, seeing as how we hadn't seen him raise yet, wouldn't you say? It's the first action we've seen, but... Oh. Three of it. 300 only. Oh, Mad Marty's all in with a 7 8 of heart. frixo has got the Jack 7. And John is leading with a pair of Jacks. Here's the flop 6 8 9. This is a little interesting. It's a pretty strong bet to make on only a one pair. He's got to like the flop. He also doesn't want anybody to call in case they've got a draw. Sure. He wants to make the draw as expensive as possible for anybody else. He doesn't want to be called. Sure has been a lot of money. So what you're saying here is you think Frixo might call any bet except the all-in bet. He, he doesn't want to go all-in, but he sure wants to try and make that straight. He's got a seven in his hand, so either a five or a ten would give Frixo a straight. But right now he's only got a jack high. I mean, he must know that's worthless. He knows it's worthless, but some players just can't resist making a draw. What that means is uh, buying another card to try and complete the straight or the flush. Right. Right now he's just going to the drawing board. He's got a lot of plans for his hand, but nothing yet. He needs another card. Four to a straight, three to a flush. If John had made it just a small bet of 500 pounds, Frixo would pay <coughs> to draw either a five or a ten to complete his straight. But because he's made it 2,000 or thereabouts, he just can't afford it. I've got eight outs again. I'm going to give it up. He called it right, Nick. He passed. John's going to win the side pot. Mad Marty's all in, so he's in for the main. We're going to get to see the two final cards. Two pair. Mad Marty's in the lead all of a sudden. Thank you. Full house. Let's get busy living. Let's go, brother. Come on, Johnny. Ah, uh, there's a happy bunny. <laughs> he needed just one seven, but he got two of them. Sevens are, uh, seem to be littered in the deck tonight. I think maybe there's about six sevens in the deck, or is it... <laughs> there's an old expression that goes, all in always wins. And, uh, certainly happened there. Mad Marty again. He just called. He's got the big chips behind him. John and Frixo. Frixo's called. Oh. Surrender checks from the big blind, so we're just three players. I got 300 players. 900 pounds in the pot. Ace 10 4. 300 all in. He just fired that money in there pretty fast, didn't he, Nick? A pair of 10s with a queen kicker. I would say so, Jesse, the, it's the best chance he's got. He's going to call anyway, even if someone else bets, right? Yeah, he's, he's getting like um, three to one his money. Sure. There's already 900 pounds in the pot. If he wins this, it'll be, it'll be the most chips he's had since the beginning, probably. Rick's nose thinking. John's having his lunch. I could go for one of those myself. He's called. Wow. Good luck, man. 
I need a king. You, I need a king. I'll go on third. Might so Frickson's called with. Queen looks like only a king queens. to win. Noah Jack would win it for him too, wouldn't it, Nick? Frickson has queen. Two more Jack. cards to come, and if Marty loses, he's yeah. out. He's still in the lead. Tens and fours is ahead. Yeah. Oh dear. It's the three hundred. <laughs> I was getting back. River on. killer, huh, Nick? Like yeah, Marty is unlucky there. Losing certainly makes you thirsty. Let's take a look at that again. Out of the seven cards Marty's got available to him, you can see he uses the ten from his hand and the ten and two fours and an ace from the board to make tens and fours with an ace. Frixo uses the ten king ace from the board with his jack queen to make a straight, and that's higher. So he takes the pot and we're down to six. Blinds are 75 and 150 now. And it's getting up there, isn't it, Nick? Little by little. Well, Frixo's got some chips now. Raised to 800. Tommy with the A7. That's the second time we've seen him with the A7. 800 pounds. That's a lot of money on that hand. Wonder if Surrender believes him or not. What's he thinking? Two nines. Sur Surrender's seen Hamid play some pretty loose hands. So I'm thinking that uh, he's, he's going to raise. He hasn't got enough to raise. He's certainly going to play. Is there a consideration that he's beat here? I would think not. Hamid does have a little bit more money than him, so it's going to be an all-in hand or nothing. Surinder's got so few chips, he's got to find a way of doubling through. And I think this is going to be the best chance he's going to have. I love that Surinder never rushes. You know, he's taking his time. I don't know what he's thinking about, but he's not going to hurry himself. Cool. Hey, uh, All right, he's in. 800 pounds. He's got 100 left in the side. Made it eight, yeah? 1,600 pounds in the pot, and all of a sudden Howard's thinking about it. What would you think about that A6? I think if Surrender had called in front of me, I really wouldn't want to call with A6, because uh, Surrender's not going to throw his chips in on anything less than A6. How much to me now? 750. Uh, sorry, 650. Or would you call it a function of Howard being short-stacked and impatient, maybe? I mean, he'd, I we haven't seen him play a hand yet. It's I think he sat there long enough. He just wants to take a shot at the pot with something. And this is probably as much as he's seen. Good luck. <coughs> well, I can't Four. say I blame him. Poor guy hasn't had anything to play yet. Pass. But he's not going to like it when he sees Hamid's ace-7, is he, Nick? No, the fact the two of them have got aces increases Surinder's chances. There's less aces left in the deck to actually hit the board. You say he's the favorite here in a big way? Yes. Three players. Two eights and a three, but two diamonds on the board. Yeah, two fifty, sorry. Two fifty. Well, Howard's on the draw, but it's only one diamond. He needs to win three thousand pounds. I don't blame him for being a little bit excited. I'm at full Jackson's on surrender. Waste no time going all in with his hundred pounds. So surrender's all in. It's a pair of nines. Howard has ace, six of diamonds as a flush. Surrender's in the lead. Howard needs an ace or a diamond. You played it like a master. Two cards to come. Let's see. Oh, come on. Okay. Howard needs a, needs a diamond. Helps no one. Let's see the river. It's a miss. Queen. Yeah, it's a miss for Howard, and Surrender wins the pot. <laughs> Howard can't believe it. I don't know why he's two to one against making that flush. So he was underdog all the time. So he can't really complain. Uh, close is so close. That pot came just in time for surrender because they're increasing the blinds yet again. Listen, I'm, I'm not being rude, lads. There's a girl out there got me in the suite. You know, I'm doing my best for that girl. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? 
Oh, we have action. This is instant call by Frixo. That was a big bet by John, 1,600 pounds. Frixo called it. Already 3,200 pounds in the pot. Oops. I exposed the card, I'm sorry. Keep it I exposed it, so I'm not Queen That's a pretty disciplined fold, wouldn't you say, Nick? King Queen? Yeah, but against an all in. There's a raise and an immediate call. His King Queen must be bad. Oh, John's got Ace Queen and Frixo's got Ace King. I have no idea what Joe could be thinking about. Usually, when you get some players all in, you other guys want to get out of the pot and hope that someone goes broke. Where are we going to be? Oh, well, Queen is going to be. Chuck is on in. He's got Ace Queen. Frixo has got Ace King. Oh, Frixo's big favorite here. Let's see the flop. He's a bigger favorite now. Four, five, nine helps <laughs> no one. Ace King leads, and John's going to need a Queen to take the pot. If he doesn't get it, he's going to walk. Yeah. That's the river. Two nines with ace king high by Frixo is going to beat John's two nines with ace queen high. In poker lingo, we say he got pipped. Beaten by a mere one pip. That was a 3,500 pound pot. Let's see that hand one more time. Here you can see of the seven cards available to John, he doesn't match with the ace queen. He's going to use the nines and the ace queen eight high. Frixo's got those same two nines, but he has an ace king eight high. It's over the line, so it's a bet. Isn't it? So there's only five players left, <laughs> and we go on. <laughs> Who do you like at this point, Nick? Uh, I was afraid you're going to ask me that, Jesse. I tell you what, I don't like. I think uh, Howard's in real trouble, but he's just going all in. He has at that. 800. Oh, does it mean? That's 800 pounds. I'm sorry. Chip leader Frixo is out. I, 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 I had passed. Howard's in a small blind. I'll stand up again. Have he's going to call. So so does Surrender. Did you realize Surrender was that low in chips, Nick? No, but uh, he, he doesn't really like his hand. You can see they're all standing up again. Okay. Well, we're going to see all five cards because two players are all in. Jack-9 for Howard, King-Queen for Surrender, and Jack-10 for Hamid. Who do you make as a favorite right now? Well, Surrender's favorite, I think. Oh, come on, baby doll. A pair of tens is in the lead. There's a straight draw for Surrender. Come on. And a straight draw for Howard. Oh, wow. Oh, you've done his best. Well played. Jack played into everybody's hand, but it's Surrender who's made the high straight. Okay. Three, Three of diamonds helps no one, and he's going to take that pot. Absolute master. <laughs> Thank you. Lucky. Thank you. Let's look at that one more time. You can see Surrender's got the queen king. He matches that with the ace ten jack on board to make a high straight. Ahmed had two pair, and Howard had a pair of jacks, but against a high straight, no one stood a chance. Uh, Nick, what do you reckon is the most interesting story about this tournament so far? Uh, well, Jesse, I think it's about Surrender's luck. He's a world-class player, all right, but he's also getting some world-class luck at the moment. He's been in the wall in about four or five times, and... Uh, I think the poker fairy is living on his shoulder at the moment. I don't know how long his luck can hold Brilliant. out. I think that's six times all in, Nick. I tell you, that's the most chips we've seen Surrender have all night. Got King? King. Need Surrender King with chips is a very dangerous player. Now he's got some. He's gone all in against Joe. Twenty-four. Joe's in the big blind. The blinds are three and six hundred. Surrender's raised twenty-four hundred out of the small blind. It's eighteen hundred pounds to Joe to call. That would make a 4,800 pound pot. It's almost half the chips on the table. We saw Howard Plant throw away a king queen before. What do you reckon Joe's thinking about right now? It's very difficult to figure. Very difficult to figure. He may be thinking that Surrender's got an ace in his hand, in which case his king queen is uh, almost certainly behind. I hate this hand. I absolutely hate this hand. Must be a six. It's better than a six. Ooh. Six are just right away. He's shown Surrender he's got a king. Surrender must be dying. He 
he's got a king three. The only hand he can beat is king two. <laughs> I don't think Joe would be thinking about that. You would have been thinking about that. Yes, are in. Yes, king three. I don't think Surrender's going to survive this one. Yet. Well, Joe's made your favorite again. Really, only a three wins it for surrender. So lucky, really. You can possibly do. Eight, ten, Jack. Joe's got a high straight draw, and the king, queen, high leads. Surrender's got naught but a three. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> How many more times? What did you ever? Nick, try and quantify just how unlikely that is for us. Surrender was about five to two against. If they played a hand seven times, Joe's going to win it five, Surrender's going to win it two. Yeah, but once those three cards come out and there's the eight ten jack up there and Joe's got the queen king, he's got the high straight draw, I mean... Oh, Surrender's just lucky tonight. Did you ever see such luck? Actions on Surrender. You can feel the tension there. Nobody wants to be the next player to fall. Pass. No. Pass. Oh, oh. there's a bet. Looks like Frixo's gone all in. Count the chips later. Ahmed called very fast. Two tens for Frixo. Frixo's got a pair of tens. Hammond's on a jack five of spades. Pair of ten's a big favorite here. For sure. I don't know if Hammond called that. I'll never know. Okay. Pair of ten's is still high. Hammond's got no pair. Pair of fives. He's still going to need help to win, though. Oh, he's dead. Okay. He's hit a real long shot there. Okay. Never over till it's over, is it, Nick? Last right. card. Nothing safe before the last card. This is an incredible game this evening. Every time anybody's gone in with uh, a clear lead or the best hand, they seem to just keep getting outdrawn regularly. Fortunately, that's going to send Frixo out, and we're going to be down to three players. Hamid, Surinder, and Joe Beavers. Let's look at that last hand just one more time. You can see Frixo's best five cards out of the seven available are the two tens, the two fives, and a king, giving him two pair. Hamid's got the five in his hand plus the two fives on board to make three fives. He had nothing on the flop, but by the end he made his three of a kind and won the pot. Three players and only two can go forward. Hamid's raising from the small blind. Well, I can't beat him, let's see if you can. Surrender calls for 1900 all in. Let's see what they got. Surrender shows a two and a four. That's, that's a surprise. Hamid's got a queen jack of diamonds. I do not see any way for Surrender to get out of this pot. Flop seven, seven, king. Hamid's in a big lead with a pair of sevens and a king, queen, jack. Hamid's still in the lead. <laughs> oh my. Well, Surrender's luck just keeps on holding up and holding up and holding up. What do these players have? Like they've both got a tie hand, don't it's they? It's the, the high hand is, the highest hand any of them can make is on the board, so they split the pot again. Three sevens, ace king. So neither of their whole cards count at all. How did Surrender get in there for 1,900 pounds with a two well, and a four? Well, I, mean, I think the, the blinds are so large. Um, and he'd already put in the big blind, the increase by Hamid was sufficiently small for him to say, OK, let's gamble. And uh, that's exactly what he was doing. <laughs> but his luck is amazing. How many last cards has he gotten out of Surrender? I think that's about six or seven times when he was... Um, maybe eight. He's have cramps in his legs from standing up and sitting down so much every time he thinks he's leaving. He's still short stacked. 500 pounds in a small blind, he'll say goodbye to it. 1,500 pounds in every pot before the players get their two cards. Well, Joe's looking pretty happy. must have about 50% of the chips there, Joe does. 
Surrender's only got about 2,500. And Hamid's got about 2,500. With the blinds at 500 and 1,000, it's, well, it's almost a crapshoot, isn't it? Yeah, it's a question of uh, who weakens first between Hamid and Surrender now. Surrender's on the button. It's going all in again. I'll tell you, Nick, with the amount of times that Surrender's gone all in with some marginal hands, you can't imagine him getting much respect. But a clean tennis spades is pretty good, isn't it? Huh. Surrenders won the pot. Blinds fold and he wins 1,500 pounds. And right now, every pot is deadly important. In fact, Nick, just by Surrender winning that one pot, he's put Hamid in a very tough spot, hasn't he? That's right. And he's got position on Hamid, which means that he's always acting after Hamid's decided what to do. That gives him a major advantage. It's on Joe Beavers now, who's on the button. He's got nothing invested in the pot yet. And he's going to be a little patient. Here goes Hamid, all in for approximately 2,000. 2,300. Surrender's already put uh, a 1,000 in there, so the amount he has to increase the bet by is not so great. No beating, you know. Just pretend I, it's me. I've got a good as drawing. Just pretend it's me, Surrender. Well, I've got as good as drawing him, so I'm not going the right direction as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try this here. I mean, it's a lane. We've got a call. Surrender never hurries himself. We're going to see it. King seven of diamonds. Surrender has king ten. Oh, well, surrender for once has the best hand going in. I like Before the flop. I and then he's got a ten. Thank you very much. Oh, oh, my God. Surrender wins with a pair of tens. Another hand where it came down to the last card. You can see Surrender's got the king ten. He matches a ten on the board to make a pair of tens. Hamid had a flush draw, four diamonds, but it never improved. And Surrender wins. And now we're going to find out which of these players takes 8,000 pounds to the final and which will take 4,000. They're both going to be shooting for that first prize of 40,000 pounds. If looks good kill. Joe's looking at him very, very hard, trying to figure out what he's going to do. I think that's why he called him up with the King Queen a little while ago. Yeah, it almost seems like Joe feels like he's got a got a read on Surrender, doesn't he? Only three cards I'm going to call you with. That's not one of them. No. Missed? Yeah. Goodness. I'll tell you, I'd be pretty nervous if I was Surrender. That's about three times in a row where Joe seems to do the right thing every time. Are you giving know, something away? Surrender is going to move into aggressive, I think. Um, he's going to bet any ace very, very strongly. But on the other hand, so is Joe. Um, they're, they're very tightly matched, these two. Yeah, it looks to me like they're dead even in chips right now, too, so... I couldn't pick a spot between them. Calls. That's a strange move from the button. Queen six. With any sort of a hand, Serena's going to raise. And there he goes again. He's got the ace, he raises. I guess when you're down to two players, one ace looks like two, doesn't it? When you're down to two players, an ace is a very, very powerful card. Makes it very, very difficult for the other guy to call with anything other than a a pair. Even king-queen isn't so good. So the ace is um, very strong indeed. So you can understand why Surinder's pushing with it. In fact, I think uh, Surinder's just going to keep raising all the time and hope to bully Joe out of the pots. Now that he's got the chip lead, it's, he knows he can't get turned out in one hand. Yeah, you know, the way he asked him how many chips he's got left. You know, how much have you got, you know? Almost declares an intention that he's going to force him to fold. Okay, so here we go. He pushes him again. 
Right, and with a jack two in your hand, you, you really are hoping the other guy folds, aren't you? Hmm? Well, that's losing for sure. He's forced Joe to throw his hand away again. He picks up another thousand. And how long can Joe stand this? Um, my, my guess is not very long. He's never going to let the pressure up. Surrender is just going to keep raising and raising and raising every pot until Joe cracks. That's the truth of the matter. Looks like Joe needs a little bit of the luck that Surrender had earlier in the game. <laughs> but uh, time is running out to get luck. He, he's got to get luck very, very quickly. Looks very disheartened. Mm -hmm. Calling with the king too, and he must know surrender's calling with almost any two cards. Yeah. Can't go with anything. Can I guess he's just hoping surrender doesn't have an ace and that the king's going to hold. Yeah. Joe's problem is that he's let his chip stack be eroded so far that the amount he's got doesn't pose a threat to surrender. If that was like five thousand, surrender's got to throw his hand away because he's only two thousand. Surrender can call without doing any great damage to himself. Can win the pot and you're still chip leader. Yeah, that's what Joe just said. He's trying to encourage him to call because he wants action. Yeah. Surrender never does anything in a hurry, though, does he? He may even let him have it. Joe's given him the... the beaver's stare. There's thousand pounds at stake there. Surrender's wondering whether or not to take him on now or the next hand because he knows that if he plays it correctly, he's got him. Okay, please make a decision, Surrender. Now they put the clock on Surrender again. Is it yes? It's yes. He's calling him. Okay. Let's see what the boys have got. King two. Joe's got the king two. <laughs> Against ten six. Surrender's not better with a ten six. The king's in the lead. Let's see the flop. Eight four queen helps neither player. <laughs> There's a pair. Okay, Just in time. Visit number nine from the poker ferry gives Surrender a uh, first place. Did you ever? Well, we have our champion. I think Surrender will be the first to admit that he got a little bit lucky tonight. Congratulations to Surrender Sunar. And Surindar Suno will be taking 8,000 pounds to the final table. Joe Beavers will take 4,000 pounds. Join us next time when we'll have eight more players. Until then, cash me in. <laughs>